Hi guys, welcome back to Natural Mama. Um, this is just a quick little video of a natural cleanser that I use. This will be for like the sinks, not for chrome, anything but chrome. Um, this is not real wood, so I, I would just read up on it. I'm not sure. I didn't look it up at all, so I don't want to say yes or no for that. But basically, you will need a mason jar like so. That's about four cups, four to six cups worth. Um, the uh, the top, you want to make sure. Um, you also need white vinegar. This is just food club. I actually don't even know where we got this from, but it's a really big jug. And we use it a lot, and it's a gallon. Some fresh water, and then a whole bunch of... This is from a shirt that I did not wear, and you guys know I like to reuse as much as I can. And then some, like a pair of gray shorts that were too short on me, but I didn't want to toss it out. And a bunch of these. These are going to be our wipes to put into the jar. But yes, this is for countertops. You can use it for the sinks, just as long as I said before, no chrome. And I will show you, oh yeah, and then you would want some kind of um, citrus oils because they're disinfectant. So this is from doTERRA. Let's see. Come on. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. Focus. Focus. Yep, there you go. It's wild orange. This stuff smells amazing. And this is a sample that I got in the mail. It is tea tree. Tea tree is also a disinfectant and antibacterial. So there it is. That's the actual name of it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to butcher the name. But yes, doTERRA oils. Check them out. Um, I will leave the woman that I got this from down below. And I'm sure she would not mind. She's been very helpful for me. And I'm sure she will do her best to help you as well. But let's get started. So basically you just want to stuff all of these stuff, all of the uh, wipes in here, like so. And excuse me, my throat has been a little bit scratchy lately. I have tea before I, once in a while I'll have tea before I go to bed. I should have one tonight. But that is why I sound a little scratchy. Um, you just want to make sure you push them down all the way like that. I'm going to do the vinegar first and I just had a, all right, I'm just getting a measuring little thing. I had a silver one out but I don't know what I do with it. This is a cup but for the oil, for the oil, I'm sorry I'm not doing the oils yet. For the vinegar you need three fourths of a cup. So I'm going to do that now. about good like so Ooh, sorry guys I'm just gonna try to dump it in nice and easy so it gets all into there there you go I'm just gonna put that aside and now for the water, let me see, hold on, I don't have it written down, it's actually on my phone, but I finally found the website that I was trying to look for because I literally just ran out of this, so, um, you need three fourths of, three fourths of a cup of filtered water as well. So I have this, we got this from ShopRite, it's um, a gallon water, it's very good water, very nice. So again, just measure that out. And do the same thing. I'm gonna put it in as slowly as you can. There you go. Now th for the orange oil, you want to make sure you make sure you put it in here because this stuff is expensive, but it does last a really, really long time. There's five milliliters in here, and you'll be surprised how long this little bottle will last. But for this, you want 15 drops, so let's open it on up. And one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I added one more by accident. It comes out really fast, so just be ultra careful. And for this, you want 48 drops. This takes a little bit longer just because of the spigot. It's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to try to do my best to show it in here for you. Yeah. This might take a little bit longer, guys. So <laughs> I got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this stuff smells so good too. Look, right here is just a sample size. And there's about 30, 20 to 30 drops of this. And I've used this for my homemade toothpaste too. And I use it twice for oil pulling as well. It's very good stuff. But now you just want to put your the caps on the lid make sure it's good and then you just want to mix it all around so you get everything in there and I will leave the website down below as well where I got it from I've used this this is probably the third time since I don't know summer maybe last summer I've used this I'm pretty sure it's been around that time but yeah, this is how you rinse, how you reuse some stuff. You save some money, and yeah, it is all good to go. And then when you're ready, you just obviously just open it on up. Get a cloth, wipe it down, put it in the wash, and the best part, is you can reuse it. I love it. it smells amazing, um, and it's disinfectant, antibacterial. Just look it up. All essential oils are amazing. So yeah. That will be all for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave comments down below and let's see I guess that is it all right guys Have a great day. Bye.